Make sure you know from the very beginning what insulation system you want to use, whether it be liner system, log tab banded, or if you want to use a single layer. Make sure you understand your local energy code. Make sure your metal building manufacturer is supplying you a building that is compatible with whichever insulation system that you use. Depending on what insulation system you're using, that can influence where it is more economical for what placement you have of your girts and purlins, because depending on the system, using odd dimensions, i.e. non-standard dimensions, can increase the overall cost of your building and your insulation system. Make sure you understand what you can and cannot do inside that building based on what insulation you are using. What you're doing inside that building can influence how you insulate it and which material you use. Uh, for instance, ice rinks have a very specific system you must use. If you're doing a manufacturing plant that has uh, sparks, welding, make sure you're using an uh, insulation system that uh, is extremely resistant to burning. If you are doing um, a system that you might have uh, exposed chemicals, make sure that your very vapor barrier is compatible to whatever chemicals that you may be using in your building. So work with your local laminator to make sure that when you're done with your building and you're using it, you don't have any surprises and you're happy in the end. And finally, make sure you do your research and purchase material from a quality laminator like Vermont.